It's a blessing and honor to be able to stand before you once again on the Lord's Holy Sabbath. Brothers and sisters, today's lesson is beware of the spirits in the camps and houses of the Lord. And we're going to open up, we're going to go to Exodus, we're going to start out reading the law, as has been read every Sabbath. We're going to go to Exodus, the 20th chapter, we're going to pick it up at verses 1 through 17. Exodus 20, we're going to read verses 1 through 17. Okay, brother, you have it. Go ahead. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. All right. Let's go to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, and we're going to read verses 13 and 14. Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, and we're going to read verses 13 and 14. When you get it, brother, go ahead and read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. All right. Let's go to Revelation, the 22nd chapter. And let's pick it up at verses 14 and 15. Revelations 22, verses 14 and 15. Okay, go ahead. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without adults, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth, and make it a lie. All right, so we read the law, just like our forefathers, they read the law and of Moses, every Sabbath, and this is what we're supposed to do. And brothers and sisters, uh, I'd just like to say once again, I'm glad to see everyone. Happy Sabbath to everyone. Sabbath, brother. And brothers and sisters, it's spirits running through the churches. 
through the camps. And it's not good. A lot of things are going on. We're in the last days, people. And what we have to understand, there's a lot of false doctrine going on. And I, we're going to show through this lesson and everything. You know, people might have come in here, they talk about the Lord, but what is your intention? What are you really here to do? Are you really here to truly serve the Lord? Or are you here to be an antichrist? Because there's many antichrists in the world now. That's right. And the book tells us that. So a lot of different sayings, a lot of doctrines are going on. But like the Lord tells us, brothers and sisters, stick to the doctrine which we have learned. Right. Amen. And that's what we have to do. Like I said, and I've been saying, playtime is over. This thing is winding down. But I want to show you something. Let's go here by the way of Jeremiah. Let's go here and pick this up in Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. See, because the Lord told Jeremiah something. And see, this is what Brother Bowie is telling all his teachers and everything. To read the word. And let's stand on the word of God. All other folly and everything is going to do what? It's going to fall. But the word of God is going to do what, people? It's going to stand. And we have to walk there in. But Jeremiah 17, and we're going to pick this up at verse 7. Jeremiah 17 and verse 7. What does it say, my brother? This is a man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Mm -hmm. For he shall be as a tree planted by the water. Yes, sir. And that spread it out his root, her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Oh, so when this drought come, and this is talking about a tree, this is talking about the people of God. Yes, sir. You root yourself and you ground yourself in this and do what your God tell you to do. When all this trouble start coming, guess what? You still going to flourish. Right. Have you seen the big tall trees around? You look. When the drought come, the big trees and everything that are established, what they do? They stand, don't they? They don't lose their leaves, do they? No. But continue to read, my brother. Verse 9. Uh-huh. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know this? Go ahead. How the Lord search the heart. What do the Lord do? Search the heart. And what's your heart? It's not this mind. blood pump. It's your mind. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. You see that? According to the fruit of his doing. Yes, sir. So if you're doing wrong, guess what? He going to reward you with wrong. If you're doing righteous, he's going to reward you with righteousness. Yes, Skip down to verse 16. What does it say? As for me, I am not hasted from being a pastor to follow thee. You see what he's saying? This is what Jeremiah's saying. And this is what Brother Bowie is doing. This is what all the teachers, what we're trying to do. And like Brother Bowie said, if you can't follow this rule and do the things of this, of this Bible, he'll remove you. So if a brother or sister wants to come and just tell you foolishness and folly, I'm not getting anything out of this with trying to get into the kingdom. I'm not getting a dollar, one red cent for this, people. And this is the thing. I'm working to get what? Salvation. What you working? That's why I say, what's your intent? Are you working to get salvation? Or are you looking for men to glorify you? It don't matter about that. Because all that stuff is going to fall. And it's falling now. And remember, the Lord is recording everything. And he see everything. 
Amen? Amen. He do, people. Don't think that it's going unnoticed. That's right. Go ahead and read, my brother. Neither have I desired the woeful day that thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. Right. So even when we even teach something wrong, what do we do? We come back and say, hey, brothers right and there. sisters, we was in error. And yes, hey, this is the way it is. Yes, sir. If you, we, we are not here to put your eyes out. We are here to open your eyes. True. We're here to open your understanding. Yes. We're here not for you to be blind. I'm not here, and my mind is way up here, and you down here. We're trying to bring everybody up to what? We're trying to let everybody eat meat. Mm -hmm. But I see the envy. I see the things that's going on. We are still carnal. And we are drinking milk. You're not skilled. These are the things I see. But this is what the book will tell us these things. Go ahead, my brother. 17. Uh huh. Be not a terry unto me. Thou art my hope in the evil, evil day of Eve. In the in the Thou day art of my evil. hope in the day of evil. Right. And this is what the Lord is saying. Because if you do what does say the Lord, listen what Jeremiah is saying here. Right. He said, I desire not for, so whoever desires for the day of the Lord, hey, that day is going to be dark and gloomy. You don't know if you're going to make it. Right. I ain't heard people say, man, I didn't ask the Lord to forgive me and the Lord and forgave me. How you know the Lord forgave exactly. you? Exactly. If his mind is higher than here and our minds is lower than what? How you know what God has done? Mm -hmm. We can't say anything about what the Lord has done. The Lord has forgiven me. I ain't seen Saul go and disobey the Lord, and he still lived out through the kingdom, didn't he? Yes, sir. But he done wrong, and he had an evil spirit on him, didn't he? Right. So much for that, brothers and sisters. That's right, brother. You don't know how you know you walking with the Lord. And you doing perverted things. You talking crazy to your brothers. You, you got envy going on. You putting your mouth on people. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. It don't work like that. No, it don't, brother. But let's go and continue to read this. Go ahead, brother. 18. Uh-huh. Let them be confounded that persecute me. You see, hey, he, and he said, let them be confounded that persecute me. He, Jeremiah's talking about him. I, I, I say this same prayer. Everybody that put their mouth on me, hey, Brother Bowie, all, hey, you're going to be persecuted. Remember one thing, you judge somebody, you're going to be judged with the same thing which you put on somebody. Did you not know that? Yes, sir, brother. So you can put your mouth all on people, and you can say, hey, yeah, oh, so-and-so, blah, oh, oh, brother doing so-and-so, oh, oh, sister doing so-and-so. But it's not for you to judge. The Lord said you can't uh, judge a matter before it's time. See, the Lord got to clean each and every one of us up in here. And each and every one of us in here, you still doing something wrong. And you can't tell me that you're not. Right. You'll be lying if you say that you're not. Exactly. Where are we? In the middle of 18. Finish it out. But well, let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed. Mm -hmm. But let me not be dismayed. Yes, sir. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. You see that? Woo! And that's something mm. to put on somebody. Because what the Lord got for the wicked, you don't want. I don't even want this for my worst enemy. No, sir. Right, right. But this is what you can say when you're standing for who? The Lord. Go ahead. Thus said the Lord unto me, go and stand in the gate of the children of the people. He said, go and stand in the gate. And this is what the preachers and these are what the teachers are supposed to do. You got to go stand in the gate. This is when we was in Jerusalem, people. Yeah. But now we're not in Jerusalem, but where are we? In the land of our enemies, right? Yes, 
yes, in captivity. Yes. But still where we are today, and whoever's going to be the minister of God, he's got to stand, mm -hmm. read. Whereby the kings of Judah come in. Whereby who? The kings of Judah come so in. So if the president come by. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And by which they go out. And they go out. And in all the gates of Jerusalem. Uh-huh. And say unto them, Hear ye the word of the Lord, ye kings of Judah, and all Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem that enter in by these gates. You see that? So that means everybody. The king ain't exempt from it. Nobody is exempt from this. If you wrong, you have to be told. Yes. And you have to be told by what does say the Lord. Not leaning to my own understanding, telling you anything out of my, my head. So when the scriptures, you ask somebody, what's read? Where is it at in the scripture? Show it to me. Show it to me. Just like me and a brother was talking and saying, hey, man, well, I want to ask you, hey, can you go and open the book and just read that you are the children of Israel? No, you cannot. You have to go through a lesson. Yes. And you have to see these things. The Lord say precept upon precept. Hear a little and what? Damn a little. And when you tie it together, people, this is the mystery of God. Okay. And this is how we get our knowledge and get our understanding. So when somebody asks you a question, where is something written? Where is it written? Where is it written? Yes. We don't lean to our own understanding on anything. When we do that, just like Brother Bowie has told me, I've asked plenty of times, hey, Brother Bowie, I want to ask you a question. Somebody called me, and they said, blah, blah, blah to me. And I say, hey, he said, can you read it, Garvin? I said, yeah, but I could put some scriptures. He said, I didn't ask you that. Can you read it to me? I said, no, sir. He said, all right, it's not written. And therefore, when you go to start adding and taking away, what is the Lord going to do to you? Going to add yeah. the plagues to you and going to take out the what? The book of life, life on you, right? Yes, sir. This is how serious this thing is, people. So a lot of us, we just like this Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. We talking. But everything you're saying is being recorded. And if you out of order and saying things wrong, guess what? It's recorded against thee. Yes, sir. Did we finish up at 20? Yes, sir, brother. Let's go here to Jeremiah, the first chapter. Turn to Jeremiah, the first chapter. See, because I want you to see this clearly, brothers and sisters. Playtime over for us. Hey, Satan is working. Satan is running rapid in the land. Hey, he's getting everybody that he can to take to the lake of fire. He don't care about you. No. I hear so much stuff now. They say Jesus wasn't crucified. Jesus ain't never been. I say, what? I heard, I ain't, you know, they tell me God don't call no names. Yeah. So I ain't going to call a name today. Okay? But these preachers, these so-called false prophets, they are saying these things. They telling you about Lilith. They telling, man, they telling you so much stuff All now. Type of crap out there. Yes, sir. But you got to be sharp and read your book. And the doctrine which you have learned, hold that, people. Even if you, even if you don't know where the chapters or anything, else, you know what your best thing for you to do. Keep the commandments. If you don't steal, you don't kill, you don't commit adultery, you don't hate, you don't bear fault, you don't do these things, what are you going to do? You're going to receive eternal life. That's it, people. That's it. But let's go ahead. Read, boy, uh, Brother Joe, at, uh, I, I'm sorry, brother, I didn't mean to call you, boy. <laughs> 
We'll talk later. Yeah, we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, the first chapter, verse 17. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we talk so, this, we, right. we, we brothers, so, you know, yes, we, sir. yeah, boy, and so and so, this, that. That's right. But go ahead, my brother. Now, therefore, gird up thy loins and arise. And speak unto them all that I command thee. Now, listen what the Lord is saying. Because I took you through 17, Jeremiah, mm -hmm. and what he said, speak to the kings and all the inhabitants, right? Yes, but listen what he's saying again. Read that part over one more time. He said what? Thou therefore gird up thy loins, and arise, and speak unto them all that I command thee. Yes, sir. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. You see that? So, boy, you know, when you get to talking and telling the word of God, man, Israel got some COVID. They'll stare you down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes they will. Who the he think he is? I'm trying to be the <laughs> priest of the Lord. Right. I'm trying to be the pastor of the Lord, the right guy. Yeah. You understand? Right. So, therefore, when, hey, he say, don't worry about their faces. Right. And see, everybody, hey, and, and, and even though, you know, I'm going to say in this thing, a lot of folk in Israel, Israel will come up, oh, brother, that was so beautiful. <laughs> and this next minute, they put a dag in your back when you turn off. Yeah, brother. And they'll twist it. So that's why I say, what's the intent? What's in the, hey, people, and then people want to show you what they know, people. Don't show me what you know. Show me, are you walking it? Show me, are you living this? Don't tell me one thing and then you do another. Yes, sir. That's not right. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read, brother. 18. Uh-huh. But behold, I have made thee this day a defense city. He said he made... What? As a defense city? I have made thee this day a defense city. Go ahead. And an iron pillar, and a brazen wall, and, and brazen walls against the whole land. Against the whole land. So, hey, like, like right here, um, we all against the whole world. Yes. Whoever going to do what does say the Lord. Go ahead and read. Against the kings of Judah. Oh, against who? The kings of Judah. Against the kings of Judah. Against Go ahead. the princes thereof. Oh, against the princes. That's the other little young brothers that's coming up, right? That's right. Go ahead and read. Against the priests thereof. Oh, against who? The priests. So if the priests get out of line, the other priests got to jump him. That's right. Ain't that what it is? Yes, sir. Are we reading this? Yes, we are, brother. I'm not just saying this. Right. And see, one thing I can say, let one of us get out. That phone ring before I get out. Hey, God, this boy. Yeah, what's up, bro? I heard you say it so and so, so. And then everybody, all the teachers, they be like, I didn't say that. But see, when you know what to say and stay on these pages, hey, brother, I didn't say that. I, I, I ain't seen Bowie tell me the five brothers for thing. Hey, five! I said, he didn't say that. He didn't do that, brother. I ain't came up. See, y'all don't know the stuff that I came back <laughs> up here. I got a tape, and I went and recorded it on my phone. And I said, hey, brother, listen to this. And I let Bowie hear it. He said, oh, okay. But he was at by him. <laughs> See, so little do you know, a lot of folks say, yeah, well, Brother God, no, I take up for the congregation. I ain't asked folk to come back. I ain't asked, I ain't asked Brother Boy, let me, let them come back, Brother Boy. No, I said, well, let it fall upon me. I said that. I heard Moses, I heard Moses say, let it fall upon me. If he was a righteous man and doing what does say to the Lord, say, no, nah, it ain't going to fall upon you, Moses. It's going to fall upon them. I know who it's going to fall upon. But I'm still, I know it's salvation in the word of God. If I get you back in the class, you done wrong, you come in here, you repent, and you do what you're supposed to do, where you going? Praise ye the Lord. 
Aren't you trying to get in the kingdom? Yes. That's what we all supposed to be doing. That's all what we supposed to be striving for. But people, boy, whoo, I ain't going to say it. Come on. And against the people of the land. Uh-huh, and against the people of the land. Go ahead. And they shall fight against thee. Oh, who going to fight against me? The priest, mm -hmm. the prince, who? And kings all, of Judah. The kings. Hey, so whoever it is in here, I got, I'm going to fight you. I'm letting you know my head harder than every one of y'all. And that's what, see, because then he said you got to be a brazen wall. Yes, sir. And I can't, I'm not going to be confounded. I'm going to tell you what does say the Lord, and I'm going to stand on the sure word of God. You don't like it? Hate me? Fine. I know what the Lord say. I make it myself a prey. Yes, sir. So I signed up when I accepted this job. I, hey, I got it all. Whatever dirt is issued out, that's what it is. And that's what it is to you, brothers and sisters. If you sign up and you're going to be for the servant of the Lord, you signed up for this. That's right. They're going to talk about you. They're going to call you crazy. Yes. Your wife, your husband, hey, they're going to go against you. Your mother, your fathers, your sisters, your brothers, they're going to go against you. Get plain, but you keep standing. When Jesus was walking, hey, they were spitting on him. Hey, when they hit, hey, when they hitting him, then they then they pull his beard out, then they beat him, and they sent him from here to there. And the Gentiles, Pilate, only ones tried to save him. But who? Us. We put our mouth on our God, on our king. And even we told him before he even came to the earth, we don't want, we want a king that we can see. Yes. Like the other nations. Brothers and sisters, whoo, hey, I've even, <laughs> I've even said, I wish I was a Gentile. <laughs> Do you know that? I I said, Lord, whew, I wish I was because guess what? The curse on us. Right, right, right. It is. When the Lord come back, He gonna teach them. They gonna say, Lord, for our father inherited lies. Okay, come on. But we, you in trouble, oh. each and every one of you. Dead, brother. And you see, when I'm pointing, what's pointing back at me? Three other fingers, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I'm included too, y'all. Yeah. This is what it is. Hey, man, this thing is real. Boy, if I, you know, they talk about blackface. I wish I could put some white on me and just turn white. <laughs> Lord, I'm a Gentile now. No, but it won't happen. Not in this life. Where we at, bro? In the middle of 19. Go ahead and finish it. But they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee, saith the Lord to deliver thee. You see that? So whoever you are, brothers and sisters, the Lord ain't going to let you be confounded. Ain't no Lord, the Lord ain't going to allow nobody to do no harm to you. But what you got to do, you got to study to show thyself approved. You understand? A lot of things we see, we might not understand it. Right. But keep coming, and the Lord going to keep revealing. Amen? Amen? Let's go here. Let's go here to 2 Timothy, the second chapter. Second Timothy, the second chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 19. 2 Timothy the second chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 19. Okay? Go ahead, my brother. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. You see what it said? Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Yes, sir. What, brother? Having this seal. Having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. You see that? And believe me, he knoweth you not. Right. 
You can play me. You can come in here. You can check. What's up, brother? But the Lord know who's his. Right. Go ahead, bro. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Uh-huh. But in a great house there are not all, only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Yes, sir. If but a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified, yes, sir. and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Yes, sir. Flee also useful lust. But follow righteousness, faith, faith charity, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Yes, sir. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strife. Right. And see, that's the whole thing when you get around a whole lot of so-called brothers that say they got knowledge. Do that, brother. You say something, brother, you strong, so strong. Hey, brother. Do you know the intent of the matter? But everybody want to jump, and then everybody get to talking. And then they get to holding them up. And then that's when they call them the click, click, clicks. But the clicks ain't going to stand in here. Because we're going to stand on the sure word of God in here. Amen? Amen. Come on, bro. 24. Uh-huh. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men. Uh-huh. Apt to teach, patient, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance. Oh, so it's up to God to give them what? Repentance. You see that? So who know when God forgives somebody? You understand? But you just keep looking at a person, and you keep looking at, hey, you see, eventually, they start walking, they start talking right. See, but the Lord will give you the spirit of what? Discernment. And we'll know these things. It ain't no hocus pocus. Yay, the Lord, the Lord, show. And you know who's the Lord's people. You ain't got to wonder. You ain't got to, I wonder, is he old? You'll see that meekness on them. You'll see that pure of heart. You'll see that humbleness. But everybody always want to, bro. Oh. <laughs> Something wrong. Come on, bro. Where we at? You're in the middle of 25, bro. Finish it up. I'm going to read that again. Okay. In meekness instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the knowledge of the truth. Yes, sir. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Right. Who are taken captive by him at his will. So do you understand this, people? When Satan come for you, listen, he come. But he got to get permission from the Lord. So how do you know when your number ain't come up? Yeah, go on down there and get him. Go on down there and get her. So, hey, man, the Lord, the Lord say we don't have but a little strength. What, what's a little, people? Mexican. Piquito. That's little in Spanish. We ain't got it all. Let's go here to Hebrews, the fourth chapter. See, so that's the thing. A lot, it, it's been so much stuff, brothers and sisters, when the teachers come and tell people things in each camp and everything, people get mad. But they tell you, hey, I'm ten toes down. Correct me, brother. Correct me when I'm wrong. But when you get corrected, what? I can't say it. That end don't know what he's talking about. Hebrews 4, and we're going to pick it up at verse 12 and 13. What does it say, my brother? For the word of God is quick and powerful. Yes, sir. And sharper than any two-headed sword. Uh-huh. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see that? 
So if you do this, this, this is the type of spirit that's supposed to be on you. Right. Finish it up. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Uh huh. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Right. Because the Lord can see what? Straight through you. Let's go yes, here to Mark, the first chapter. Mark, the first chapter. Mark 1, we're going to pick it up at verse 21. Mark 1 and verse 21. Mark 1 and verse 21. Go ahead, my brother. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue uh -huh. and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine. And this, but, and this is Jesus, people. This is when, hey, when Jesus went into the temple... And when Jesus was teaching, hey, he didn't teach like a scribe. He didn't teach, hey, Jesus was just straight cutting, cutting the scriptures, slicing it like butter and getting it to you. Go ahead. But he taught them as one that had authority. He taught them one as what? Had authority. Go ahead. And not as the scribe. Uh-huh. And there was in the, there in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? So where was, where was this at? This was in the house of the, the Lord, of wasn't God, it? Brother. See, so that's why I'm, I'm letting you see, beware of the spirits that's in the house. Hey, sometimes, hey, you don't know what type of spirit. You don't know what side a person got up on this morning. You don't know what a person went through this week. You don't know if a sister or a brother failed this week. And they so hurt, and they trying to get back, but the Lord got to spank them. But it's not for you to figure out. But if one do this right here, speak out in here, that's when we got to get busy. But go ahead, brother. Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art. <laughs> and this devil said he know who Jesus was. That's true. And the people, listen, the people, the congregation, they didn't even know who Jesus was. But this spirit knew. And the spirit that was talking out this man, what else did he say? The Holy One of God. Who, you what? You the Holy One of God. Right. And when it said that, the people in, the, in there should have said, what? God is here? Right. But go ahead, brother. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, uh -huh. and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. Uh -huh. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What, what thing is, is this? You see that? Because it, had it hadn't been the same. Right. And see, like, hey, in here, you don't, you don't see a lot of this stuff. But look what he said. What thing is this? And what, brother? What new doctrine is this? Huh. What new doctrine is it? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. Man, yes, sir. But see, that's the way we got to be. Like I said, it was once. I had to tell the urshers, the porters, hey man, there's a brother in here. And he was, and I, I said, hey, that ain't the right spirit. And I got, I said, get him, get him. Take him out there. See, but you got to be able to discern the good and evil. Yes, sir. This what all of us have to come up and come to this. Right. So this don't mean that I'm way up here and you way down here. Everybody's supposed to be well. Even. 
However long you've been coming here, every year you should be an increase in knowledge. You should not decrease in knowledge. You should increase in knowledge. Everybody has to be brought up. Everybody. Even the little children. When the little children come, hey, we got some little children that's sharp. I know I was up in Chicago one time, had my little cousin with me, and one of the little kids, man, broke on her. I said, no, nah, she don't go. Man, he went to own that. I said, hey, I said, leave her alone. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, brother God. I'm sorry. But man, we don't know when to kill, and we don't know when not to kill. This knowledge do what? Puff it Puffs up, people. Up. And when you get puffed up and you think you know everything, and hey man, can't nobody. Mm -mm. No, it don't, it, this don't run by me. It runs by the Lord. Come on, bro. Let's go here to 1 Samuel, the second chapter. Okay. See, because this was a spirit right here that was on these boys, yes, and these were Eli boys. I want to just show you something. 1 Samuel, the second chapter. And boy, if these boys weren't rough. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and what the Lord said about them and what they named mean, I said, what? These are the sons of the devil. Mm -hmm. First Samuel 2 and verse 12. First Samuel 2 and 12. What does it say, my brother? Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. Huh, what that mean? The sons of who? The devil. Go ahead. They knew not, not the Lord. You see what he said? They knew not the Lord. So these are, look, Eli was a man of God. Yes, sir. He was a priest of the Lord, wasn't he? A high priest. Mm -hmm. And so, like the Lord tell Israel, you're supposed to teach your children and your children's children. We're supposed to know this, right? And we're supposed to follow these, right? Mm -hmm. But like I say, everybody in the house ain't right. Go ahead and read, bro. 22. Uh-huh. Now Eli was very old and heard all that his sons did unto all Israel and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. What? Yes. So they right there at the Lord's tabernacle, right. at the door of it, and having sex with women? Yes, sir. This serious, people. Go ahead, man. And he said unto them, Why do ye such things? For I hear your evil dealings by all this people. Nay, my sons, for, for it is no good report that I hear. Ye make the Lord's people to transgress. Oh, so do you understand what he said? Ye make the people of the Lord to transgress. Yes, sir. I know we're not doing that here. Right. I know we're trying to teach the people how not to transgress. Right. But he said, you teach the people of the Lord to transgress. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Skipping down. Skipping down. Skip down to 27. What does it say? And there came a man of God unto Eli and said unto him. Okay, so that means, did, didn't, we just, didn't we just read in Jeremiah where you got to talk to the priest? Mm -hmm. If the priest get out of line, yes, sir. you got to talk to who? The princes? You got to talk to the king. Yes, so Eli, he heard this. He didn't rebuke his brother. He should have set him down. Right. But he didn't do it. So another man of God came to him now and uh -huh. said, what? Read. Thus said the Lord, did I plainly appear unto the house of thy father when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, uh -huh. to offer upon my altar, to burn incense, to wear an ephod before me? And did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire of the children of Israel? Uh -huh. Wherefore kick ye at my sacrifice and at my offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honorest thy sons above me? What? 
And see, that's what some people, hey, they're my boys. You turn, you turn around. Mm -mm. I tell mine. You got to tell them. <laughs> Go ahead. To make yourselves fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of, the, of Israel, my people. Uh-huh. Well, for the Lord God of Israel saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father shall walk before me forever. Uh-huh. But now the Lord saith, be it far from me. For them that honor me, I will honor. Yes, sir. And they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Behold, the days come that I will cut off thine arm and the arm of thy father's house, and there shall not be an old man in thine house. What? So that means the Lord cut their days. And see, this is the thing what's going on today here where we in captivity. Israel ain't listening, and they days been they not old men that's dying no more. Who dying? Kids dying, ain't they? Let's go here to first John, the fourth chapter. You got to tell it, people. It don't matter who my friend is. And these brothers tell you, and, I, and that's what I like, that's what I love about my teacher. I told him one time, I said, he was, we was talking about something. I said, yeah, brother boy rebuked me. He said, you know how I get you. You know how I get you. I ain't going to let you. I ain't going to let you go that way. I'm going to get you. So that's why I know, hey, he might say it to me rough. He might say it, but guess what? I know the brother loved me. Okay. When you love somebody, what you going to do? You going to tell them, yes. if I don't love you, I won't open. Walk off. Let you go right there and do whatever you need to do. And each and every one of you that know me, you know I tell you. And you know I'm not afraid to tell nobody in here what does say the Lord. I'm going to stand on it. I ain't heard people say, yeah, Brother Gob, Brother Gob and me. It's Brother Gob and me. I just look like this, y'all. My head is big. I got wrinkles in, so, hey, I don't do a lot. Yeah, but I'm a cool brother once you get to know me. We can play, we can laugh, but you get out of pocket with God and about something, I'm going to get you. No I'm going to turn around and I'm going to rake your head on the bricks. That's right. That's what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. so, that, so therefore, brothers and sisters, hey, that's why I don't, I, I see y'all, hey, praise the Lord, happy Sabbath, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I don't have no friends in this. I'm not your friend. I'm your brother. And my job is to be a watchman. And my job is to tell you what does say the Lord. And you don't like it? Fine, people. I ain't growed up to this now. I, you, it, it, it used to hurt me real. I used to cry. I still cry. But I used to cry a lot of time when I, and folk get mad at me. I know one time Brother Bowie called me, hey, yeah, brother, sit so, such a down and blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, Brother Bowie, I'll talk to you later. You go on, call them. I ain't calling them. Mm -hmm. You call and do your mm -hmm. job. Try to pass mm -hmm. the buck on, people. But if you're going to do this, you got to stand in the gap. What the book say? If they would have stood in the gap, we wouldn't be going through these problems. We'll know how to walk to the Lord. We'll know what to do. If they'd have only stood in the gap, we'd have still been in the land. But ain't no need to go in there. We ain't in the land. We here. Can't go drink no spilled milk about the flow, can you? And if you do, you're nasty. <laughs> Come on, bro. Where we at? 
First John four and one. First John four and one. Go ahead. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Right. So do you understand? Look, everybody can come in. Everybody, and you know, man, I love the Lord. Oh, I love you, brother. I love your sister. I love blah, blah, blah. They'll they kill you. Mm -hmm. But you got to try them spirits. Like I say, correct somebody. Go tell somebody when they wrong. Go ahead, bro. Verse 2. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. That's semicolon, ain't it? Mm -hmm. But I put, a, I put a question mark by that. See, because right now today, a lot of folks say, Jesus has came, don't they? I believe in Jesus. Yeah, the Lord came on. <laughs> he was crucified Friday, got up early. <laughs> Whoa. But they ain't got the right spirit on them. You understand what I'm saying? So it's much more than it because the world and come, hey, we vast from the old. But you know what the old had? It was a green tree. We the dry tree. They talking about knowledge, technology, and all this. But hey, just look at back in the green tree time, brothers and sisters, why is it that man is still amazed and they still trying to see to this day how was the pyramids built? How did they stack 200-some thousand stones and they didn't have no cranes? I heard so many, man, they had a kite to fly. You don't know. We don't know. Why is the paint that they had in there? It ain't faded. Right. Why when they say you paint today, it fades on your house? You understand? That's, that was in the green tree time, wasn't it? Why would Noah, when he was making a boat, why was he messing with iron mm -hmm. and making knobs and it? Hey, it's, it's right here in the book. Yeah. They say the Iron Age, the Bronze Age, but I saw Noah make some sockets. Right. But who gave Noah that knowledge? The Lord. Oh, did. And see, this is the thing what we got to do, brothers and sisters. When the Lord tell us something, it said when Noah got them instruction that a flood was come, hey, he was with fear. He ran. Right. He, done, he done what the Lord told him to do, yes, didn't he? Did, he did, brother. Because of fear, didn't he? Yes. Man, I got to get this ark built. 